What the f This is free? So let's get started. Once you've downloaded the asset from TurboSquid, link in the description, of course. You'll have to pull that into Blender. We'll use that as a reference for all of our materials. After we have it in Blender, we'll pull it into Unreal Engine and we won't import the materials by unselecting this guy. So there was a lot of back and forth for me to figure out what the best workflow is, but I think I finally figured it out. So what I've done using Blender as a reference, I've created a bunch of material instances for each material in Blender. I based these instances off a of master material that I created. Link is in the description and it's absolutely free to use in any project that you want. I then created a blueprint. I added all the meshes that I imported. I then assigned my material instances to the relevant parts and I had something that looks like this. Now it's not bad, but we still have a couple of things to do. First, I went and found some references. I went onto Pinterest, I downloaded a couple of images, stored them and organized them in PRF. If you don't know what PRF is, it's a free software that's absolutely fantastic for storing your references. I decided I liked this orange picture of the car in the garage, so then I decided I'm gonna start blocking out the scene. First thing I did was I added the stock standard Unreal Engine Sky. Now a little tip for you is if you go to the window tab here and if you select environment light mixer, you will have a panel where you can see all of your lights at the same time and just add everything from there. So the car that we downloaded is gray and I really like the orange. I tried tweaking the colors on that material, but it just didn't look right. Luckily, I found a free material pack on Unreal Engine called Automotive Materials that I downloaded and applied to the car. This changed it from being okay to absolutely gorgeous the next thing i did was i started blocking out the scene with brushes and then i added a couple of quicks on mega scan assets once that was done i did looking like this To render, I enabled the Movie Render Queue plugin from the plugin section in your preferences menu. I then placed a couple of cameras around the scene in positions that I really thought was the most cinematic. I added sequences and I animated the camera, used a little bit of a camera shake. There's a bunch of tutorials on camera shakes with sequences. I suggest you look at this one. In terms of my camera settings, I opted to go for a field of view of 130. So as for the settings in my rendering pipeline, first I set the image type to EXR because it holds the most information. Secondly, I removed the deferred renderer and added the path tracer. I set my anti-aliasing samples as follows and that equates to about 800 samples per frame that's rendered. It took me about four hours to render this on my RTX 3080 in 4K. I know that sounds like a long time but you'll just have to be patient. Just run it during the night and come back to it in the morning. Of course it can always be better. I can add more assets. I can switch off the denoiser from the post-processing volume. I can up my samples for the anti-aliasing but mind you it's going to take even longer. Just remember you can do this yourself by following this workflow. If you get stuck, there's a bunch of tutorials that goes into detail about the various things that I've done here. If you need any help and if you've got any questions, I'd be more than happy to address it in the comments. And as always, I really hope you have fun during this process. Until next time.